Welcome back. Welcome back to HIP, so-called Health Insurance Personalized. This is Consumer's Doctor on the behalf of Foremost Organization. Today, let's talk about impaired health support plans under the umbrella of HIP, so-called Health Insurance Personalized. The purpose of the personalized health insurance is to offer a wide range of plan options. Inexpensive plan options will be available for those wanting more limited insurance plan. The care for the sickest among us by providing those needing impaired health support plans if insurance plan options related to their unique needs, unique needs. Personalized health insurance will include coverage for healthcare services, for healthcare services that a person might require in order to maintain a good health, including at a minimum, but not restricted to preventive care, emergency care, in hospital, inpatient hospital, and physician care, outpatient medical services, mental and behavioral health services, and prescription drug services, and more, and more. Participants of the impaired health support plan will have options, will have options that include features of consumerism, include features of consumerism. Many plans embracing consumer empowerment will include at least five following features. Pay attention to these folks. Five fe following features, so important features, salient features. Number one, personal care accounts. Personal care accounts like health savings accounts, health reimbursement accounts, etc. Personal care accounts are the core of consumerism, or the core of consumerism. Personal care accounts financially empower policy holders, empower the policy holders with choices to spend their own money, their own money on healthcare services and products. There are a variety of personal care account plans that can be offered to, that can be offered under the impaired health support coverages. Under the impaired health support coverages. What is the second feature? Wellness, prevention, and early intervention programs. This is a second salient feature in the, under the HIP. Wellness program, wellness program support healthy behaviors, health improvement, and wellness program provide consumers opportunities to improve, to improve health and engage in positive lifestyle, positive lifestyles that could prevent accidents and diseases. Health improvement incentive programs also offer plan, offer plan members a chance to save money. This is the critical part, to save money in personal care accounts by lowering 
utilization of health services. This is where, you know, keep the cost down because there are too many unnecessary procedures being done. So consumers want to save money by avoiding these unnecessary procedures and tests. What is the third salient feature under the hip? so-called impaired health support plans is disease condition management, disease condition management and case management programs. What are they? What are they? Disease and condition management program, programs can help patients manage chronic and persistent conditions such as diabetes, asthma, and cardiovascular disease that cause health problems and increased costs and increased cost. Advocates of healthcare consumerism contend that saving lives, improving health, and lowering costs for the population of patients is the strength and result of a well-structured consumerism empowerment plan. Consumerism empowerment plan. What is the fourth salient feature under the hip is called health literacy. Health literacy, information and decision support programs. Decision support programs. So the, in, under the health literacy and decision support tools provide consumers with information on pricing of services include providers, facilities, and medications. Evidence-based care, evidence-based care for medical interventions and prescribed treatments options for medical care and alternatives to treatment, alternatives to treatment. Fifth, last but not the least salient feature under the HIP is incentives and compliance reward programs. Incentives and compliance reward programs. What, what are they? Incentives and compliance rewards reinforce the healthy behaviors, healthy behaviors, and encourage treatment compliance for those with chronic conditions, with chronic conditions, folks. They strengthen the patient-provider relationship and support effective use of services. Account-based plans like HSAs and HRAs are ideal for incentive-based designs that can be used to increase consumer engagement and empowerment. Consumer engagement and empowerment. So under the HIP, you can, we can focus on the sickest of the sick. These are the people we need to be paying the attention most. And these are the people should have Certificate of Guaranteed Coverage under the Health Insurance Personalized. Certificate of Guaranteed Coverage is provided for the people with chronic conditions and we should be paying attention to these group. As far as the insurance premiums are concerned, once the consumers are empowered, consumers have a choice to make choice to make. The general population insurance premiums have to be based on risk segmentation, folks. We can't avoid that. Risk segmentation. Consumers in well category should have lowest of the lower premiums. And consumers with at-risk category like smokers and drug addiction or 
diabetes, whatever it is, at risk category, they could have a, a different program with little higher premium, maybe over 10% of the premium should be higher than the wellness category. And the most important thing is chronic illness category. They should have a premium based on the chronic illness condition. Again, they should have a coverage including for pre-existing illnesses and we should be paying attention. This is where the cost of the healthcare is rising. The claims among the chronic illnesses is almost 50% folks. Among the claims we are seeing right now, most of the claims, even though there are only 15% of the population with chronic illnesses, the claims are almost like 45 to 50%. Even for this category, premiums can be lowered, but the premiums cannot be any higher than 10% of the well category. It should be lower and we should be given incentives and rewards even for these folks. And last but not least, and people are, most of them under the catastrophic. Catastrophic coverage may be a limited period of time if they're exposed to a catastrophic period, they should get a coverage different from the rest of the coverage. So premium should, for the catastrophic category be, has to be different for a limited period. It could be high, but for a limited period of time. Folks, Thank you for listening. This is Consumers Doctor on behalf of Foremost Organization. We will see you in the next episode of HIP. Goodbye and salute.